what qualifies me more than others is I know exactly where you are. Six, seven years ago, I didn't know what to do. I know where you are and I know the steps you need to take to get to where you want to be and which is job ready. And, you know, you can go to the interview and you can tell them, hey, I can do this and this. Mm -hmm. If you don't need it, I don't want to work here anyways. If you do need it, I'm the guy, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's like the attitude that I want to get you into. So So this is Shay. I actually took a boot camp with him. You know, you can only learn so much in three months, right? You know, I feel like I really lucked out in finding a job under Phil. Learned a lot from Phil like and like what it takes. And there's a ton of things that you need to learn. But Phil has a really good system because he's like one of the success stories of a boot camp. Phil is very qualified in teaching and bringing people up. Not just coding, but like, you know, even get a job in the future in coding so literally save lives with coding save lives. saves lives <laughs> yeah coding saves lives right there's truth in it because it's happened with phil so my name is <laughs> phil and i've heard a lot of good things about you and i wanted to meet you for a long time so mm. i'm glad I, I i can put a face to the name and whatever it takes to help you i want to help you so uh, it's july 8th monday and we're doing a kickoff meeting. We're, we're just doing some meeting. And then um, I'll figure out some kind of um, plan that'll be catered to you. I did hear that you're very, uh, you do you know HTML and CSS, but you feel a little bit weak in JavaScript. So that's something I can help you in because I've been coding in Node.js for, strictly in Node.js for like a while now. What qualifies me more than others is I know exactly where you are. Six, seven years ago, I didn't know what to do. I know where you are and I know the steps you need to take to get to where you want to be and which is job ready. And, you know, you can go to the interview and you can tell them, hey, I can do this and this. Mm -hmm. If you don't need it, I don't want to work here anyways. If you do need it, I'm the guy, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's like the attitude that I want to get you into. So Mm -hmm. let's go. I mean, at the boot camp, we did a week and a half of JavaScript, maybe a little bit more. But that was what Minsu kind of misled you. Let he did a week and a half. I was still on day one or day two <laughs> of JavaScript. Okay. It just kept like piling on on top of okay. that. So okay. like, uh, you know, that's where I'm at. Uh, Post boot camp, uh, I worked on a few projects. But like I said, every time that I got to the point of starting to use JavaScript or something like that, uh, that's basically mm-hmm. when the project stopped. Uh, and okay. then I would get stuck, maybe throw the code in chat GPT and it would throw out one line that would fix whatever I got going on, but I still wouldn't understand mm-hmm. what's going on. But that was, oh, geez, Minsu, like almost we're approaching our two year, two year anniversary yeah. of that bootcamp. Yeah. So I haven't touched. Yeah. yeah. Uh, since then, like I have not touched JavaScript at all. And even just looking at some stuff, I know it's straight back to basic start from okay. the start from the beginning. I'll teach you like my way from the beginning. And I okay. think that'll be a lot better. So at the bootcamp, maybe they'll teach a little bit of ES5, which, uh, but a lot of the things are like ES6 now, ECMAScript 6, which is like let and const and using like uh, map and filter and a whole bunch of different stuff that are really used in the marketplace now. Mm-hmm. And I think those are the things that um I've been using in like React code and stuff. And I think that could help you. And so coding two years ago, and just one more question I wanted to ask is uh, you did... Okay, maybe you did like, okay, let's say a day of JavaScript or two days. Yeah. It means you did a week and a half, right? So I'm rounding uh, up from that, from one to two. I don't know. I know at the bootcamp, they'll probably teach you. And one of the like fundamentals you need is uh, working and manipulating DOM with JavaScript. But have you ever done JavaScript in the server, which is Node.js? So basically, I'll just explain this a little bit. You Mm -hmm. have JavaScript that runs in the browser on client side. Mm -hmm. So that's in like the... um, Google Chrome engine or whatever it's called, like a V8 engine or whatever. And then um, there's the Node.js, which runs in C++ land. And, you know, they're very similar languages, but those those are what I'm going to, you know, differentiate with you. Some things might work a little bit different. And but they don't run that like work that much different. But I just want to know your understanding of it. So there's client side JavaScript and there's server side JavaScript. And we can get into both of it. And that's what I did with Minsu before. Yeah. We started okay. with the server side and then we um, kind of like worked out, uh, saw how the server could uh, serve like client code. And I think that it's really interesting if you think about it that way. Okay, yeah, right on. Uh, a lot of those words that you said, I've heard before, uh, but I still okay. not a clue <laughs> okay. what I'm applying it to. So, uh, okay. but yeah, yeah, I'm ready to go and uh, get get back into it. And Like me, my opinion, we'll start with data types, like strings, integers, floats, uh, booleans, you know, 
Okay. And then we'll work on to like working with uh, if conditions, else if, else, and then we'll see. And then we'll have if and else, and we'll have switch case, which runs a little bit faster, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And it makes your code a little cleaner. And then we'll go into for loops. And then we'll we'll do the other stuff. So I think okay, fun, okay. I, I will install the fundamentals as much as I can. Right on. Yeah. Did, and did, did Mitsu watch, tell you what you're getting into? Like, though, I wouldn't talk down about yourself like that. Or like, <laughs> I'm gonna just, uh, you know, if I can do it, you can do it too. Oh, all right, I, all right. I sincerely believe that. I really <laughs> want you to watch this video in like like four weeks. And you said I've heard of those words, but I don't know what they are. Mm -hmm. I want you to confidently be like, dude. That, right. that wasn't shit, you know, okay. <laughs> and I want to, and I want you to like see that growth and I want to see that smile on your face. So all right, all right. That, that's, it'll be sick. Uh, I'm a dad too. And I heard you are too. So mm -hmm. I think we can really like, uh, uh, what is this like relate? And I, I, I'm glad we chose this time because my kid goes to sleep and this is like the only time I have. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, definitely. I know like this time <laughs> yeah. is like sending the kids to bed and, the, and that stuff. Yeah. Cause it's the. Like, uh, I think one of the first videos you had where you said, I don't want to, I, I can't see myself teaching ESL as a 40 year old. And like, right <laughs> now I'm like, I'm like, I'm, I'm working right now at one job and it's like, things aren't panning out. I'm like, am I really thinking about going back to yeah. teaching ESL? Like, I don't want to, not, not at all. But, uh, so yeah. Mintu said like, Hey, you know, this could, this could work out for, for all of us. And so, yeah, I'm glad. Thanks for the, okay. the chance. Yeah. Amazing. I'm so happy. And like, I think most of the, uh, tutorials or lessons we won't have to show our face we'll just do the screen recording okay right and i think you can come like unshaved and you know shirtless whatever it does not matter you know <laughs> just come as comfortable as possible because if, if you're uncomfortable i'm going to be uncomfortable teaching you right that's so, right all right just, okay. just pants optional is what you're trying to say I don't have pants on right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you got tattoos and stuff what kind of tattoos do you got uh, basically it's kind of a, uh, love letter to, to my daughter in my hometown. Uh, it's got some references to my sm the small hometown that I grew up in and, uh, uh, some, uh, a heart with my daughter, like kind of floating away. And, uh, and then okay. it, it ends with a portrait of her on my shoulder here. So oh, portrait. Oh, Amazing. that's pretty cool. Where's your hometown? New Plymouth, Idaho. So it's a small, like, Idaho. and I say town, like loosely, I think I've, because I taught ESL so much, I realized like mm. city, town, metropolis all has a population to it, a certain population amount. So technically I'm from a village, I think, because it's like under <laughs> like 5,000 okay. people or something like that. So oh, yeah, okay. I'm from a village in- uh, so you, Okay, I'm just going to say like the thing now that I probably want to ask you, did you eat a lot of potatoes growing up? <laughs> of course, that's the best, uh, it's the best stuff. Like here, I was like, it's crazy. I was like, who's paying this much money for here. potatoes? Yeah, I was like, I don't- Potatoes suck here. They're like small and like the- uh, you know, meaty idaho potatoes that you make yeah, french yeah. fries with those are you know i'm are, used to like counting yeah. how many people are eating tonight three people only like two and a half potatoes or three potatoes because they're so like but here it's uh it's just you need the whole 10 bag. bucks in the whole bag yeah, yeah. <laughs> the whole bag. <laughs> so i'm from east bay area san francisco uh like oakland california okay. i grew up there uh and i came here maybe like 2012 i was teaching english until like 2017 2016 2017 and then i oh, went geez. to the boot camp completely went like he like diving head first and i did everything i could and i scratched and i crawled mm -hmm. and i um, worked my first job for like what they call ramen money where you can only <laughs> eat ramen breakfast lunch and dinner so that was like mm -hmm. 5001 living on 5001 you know a day yeah uh, like an like an angel investor asking my ceo how much do you guys absolutely need to at least live and work <laughs> and that's got paid like just, just enough to stay alive exactly uh, and then that you know i did that for you know a year no no not a year like six months or so and then mm -hmm. i got the company got invested actually and my oh. and my pay went like it went up a lot so and then from that's there yeah and that investment was really exciting. And I don't know. Um, I don't know if Mintu told you my story, but I've done a lot of startups, actually. I even made like a coding card game. If you have mm -hmm. kids, I'll share it with you. Oh, okay, did, like, right a on. Kickstarter and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I just like to just take every opportunity and really try. And I'm seeing this as an opportunity to teach you and like it'll grow. Obviously, it'll like help both of us. So I think that's amazing. So yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I, I got an understanding where you're coming from as far as like, uh, when I first came here, 
like teaching wasn't in the books. And then I kind of got mm-hmm. uh, a friend of a friend needed a favor. And then I ended up teaching like kindergarten kids and this type of stuff. And then I kind of went on the same path as you are right now, where I was, I needed experience teaching adults. And so then I uh, hit up everybody who I knew that was Korean that wanted to do English lessons. And I did like probably about three or four months straight of just free English lessons to like get up to speed on teaching adults. Cause you know, they don't need the ABCs and this type of stuff, phonics, and they just want yeah. conversation, that stuff. So like, I, I get, I think I get kind of where you're coming from and yeah, just go from, you know, scratching, crawling those yeah. first few <laughs> steps to get, get into the door. And then once you're in the mm. door, I think you'll, you know, fly. And I think, I know you have that grid, the first parts of programming and, you know, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to mm. be, it's not going to be given to you on a platter or anything. It's going to be really you, you know? Yeah, and yeah. I, I do have, um, you know, a project in the works right now that is going to help your resume as well. So okay. I don't know if Minzu told you it's uh, he's one of my friends and he asked me for a website today. And he's uh, he's basically like, you know, pretty popular marketer. He's ex CMO of IKEA Korea. Oh, so geez. It, yeah. So it'll like really, you know, if you put that on your resume and you say you built it, it'll help you a lot, I think. Yeah. So we'll do that together and he might, you know, have some other opportunities. So it's all about networking in my opinion. So sure. that's something I had a meeting this morning with. So that should, you know, be okay. for us. Okay. Dang, that's, that's, that's awesome. I thought, I yeah. thought for real, we were just, uh, Minsu was setting us up just to do like the face off for the boxing match. And then that was it. Like then uh-huh. he was going to cut, uh-huh. he was like, gonna cut <laughs> obviously like I went to the same boot camp you did and it, you know, I, it gave me a lot personally and I should give back too. You know, mm-hmm. much appreciated. And, I, and I, I, I'm definitely going to take advantage of this opportunity. The plan is to be doing it until I got a job. Right. And so yeah. that's kind of and what's up after though. you get the job. It's longer, too. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, wait, thank you for your service, by the way. Yeah. It was paperwork, but it was good stuff. But that's, you know, uh, that's the only thing I can say as far as like what the, the time I'm going to be investing, you know, and, and, you know, truly take advantage of uh, this opportunity, because I know it's uh it would be expensive if I was looking out, you know, out on the economy for this opportunity. So I know it doesn't come cheap and time is, uh, time is what you're offering. And I hope to double that back, you know? So, you know, we're going to get there and, um, you know, basically you can think of me as like your uh, coach, your mentor. I want you to be as comfortable as possible. Never feel like you can't ask a question. Never Mm -hmm. feel like I'm going to like look at you a certain way. Cause I, I will explain it and I will explain it so long that you'll be like, oh, maybe <laughs> I'll look it up myself before I ask this next question. It's great to hear. I think my experience yeah. like post boot camp was a lot of not necessarily pushback, but it's it got to the point where I was like afraid of asking any question because I knew like, oh, it's just time. You just need to make something you need to keep going. And then I'm stuck in this loop of just constantly looking up stuff. And like I found out that, you know, the chat GPT was the only nice uh teacher out there <laughs> so <laughs> it's not turns out it's not the best teacher at all so i'm gonna ask uh, you to not use chat gpt while we code okay. or because because i've worked with people that just gpt everything mm-hmm. and i quickly lose respect for them for some reason because <laughs> so, they don't have like the uh, deep knowledge you know mm-hmm. it's like no, yeah it's I, like I a understand. shallow knowledge and mm-hmm. then i ask like okay why did you do that why did you copy paste that why and they can't really answer and i'm just like okay, well, it's not in the same coding style that we're doing at the company. It's causing bugs and you can't even explain the code. So let delete it or reference it, mm-hmm. but write it in your own way. Mm-hmm. And that's the way you're going to understand it. So I won't use yeah. ChatGPT. And like I said, I ran into my issues with it just with small yeah. things. I was like, oh, this is not what I want to do. And uh, the outcome was not spitting out stuff that was way above my knowledge. And it sounds like coming from you that it's not even something uh well i mean later on be, yeah later, later on, on. okay because basically uh just i use uh copilot and i use like sometimes you know or mm-hmm. i use copilot every day with my code but it, i won't use it if i don't understand it because later on if it breaks you know the, what are we yeah. gonna get in trouble yeah. Yeah. and let me uh tell you i'm your new chat gpt okay that works <laughs> <laughs> easy <laughs> even if you feel like sometimes it's slow just bear with it because everything has a purpose mm. in the end like that even works. I was teaching Minzu, right? And one of my other developers, he was there and he was like, oh, why don't you just run this server and then this on a different server? 
And then he was like talking about connecting it. And I was like, whoa, whoa, hold your brakes there. I'm <laughs> like, there was a reason why I was setting up this express server. And there was a reason why I was serving the client HTML with one server. It's like an old way to do it, but mm -hmm. I remember this specifically. And then it's, I had this plan and I didn't want Quote. him to, yeah, the quotes thing, remember? And then he yeah, was yeah. like, why don't you run it on live server? And I was like, no, we're doing it this way for a reason. And I love it when, um, you know, you don't understand why, you know, you're learning this and this and this. And then by like week three, week four, you're like, oh, oh, it's all coming together. That's, yeah, the, yeah. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. that's, yeah. that's like the best kind of feelings that I'm trying to, uh, you know, provide. Sure. Okay. So, um, so I do see us meeting like, um, I don't know about your schedule, but like twice a week, if it's okay. cool over no, the that... week and then around like 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. after my baby goes to sleep. And those lessons will be at the shortest, probably like one hour. And at the longest, I don't know. Right now, I'm living away from my family. It's a solid two and a half hours to get back home. And so I'll get back to the house like right before nine, nine something. I maybe can hang out with my kids for like one or two hours before they got to go to sleep. And then I'm up and out before they are awake. So like I said, that's why I'm, I'm really trying to take advantage of this opportunity because, you know, that schedule is not, not really um, for a parent who wants, you know, for a okay. parent who wants to be active in their kid's life. So I'm thinking Mondays and Thursdays, but we can keep it open. Is okay. that, how does that sound? That sounds good. And then kind of Monday, it kind of kick, it kicks your week off. Mm -hmm. And then that Tuesday and Wednesday, maybe there's some stuff to maybe like read up on, on your free time, like on your phone. And then on Thursday, uh, it's like another one. And then you have like, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, whenever you have free time, you look stuff up on your phone. And then we kind of have this system. And then uh, 9 to like, you know, at least 1030 or whatever, okay. right? 9 to 1030. And then I'll set out some GitHub that I'll share with you. Please share your GitHub information. Okay. And then I'll put like, a uh, whatever we code that day, we'll, we'll upload it. And I'll teach you all about like, um, you know, the version control, like Git, you know, like Git commit, Git push and all this mm -hmm. kind of stuff. I see like at least three hours a week that we're together. And then obviously, I think I, I will have to give you like stuff to like study, you know, mm -hmm. and that's on your own time. Okay. And I'm not going to take like time away from your kids or anything. That's not like what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm expecting it's going to be like five hours a week. Okay. So, you know, like three hours together. And then you're going to have like an hour of some kind of work and an hour of some kind of work on from Monday to Thursday, hour of some kind of work to Thursday to Monday. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, that works. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. And, and it works. I can definitely, I got more than five hours to spare. So, so I do see you, uh, like after the first month, you know, after you put in that 20, 25 hours, you will see a difference. Okay. And that, that's what we want to see in the beginning. So, okay. All, All right. right. Then I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to make it happen then. Amazing. All right. All right. Nice. Let's get it done, dude. And, uh, you All know, right. our first it, lesson is going to be on uh, Thursday, by the okay. way. Okay. And is, is there anything you want me to do between now and Thursday? Or are you going to send that? We're going to, we're going to do it all together. Okay. And, okay. Uh, you know, I, if you have like a code editor, I mean, cause it, it does take some install time, like visual studio code. Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, that would be, I mean, that's all you need to be honest. Okay. And then do you have node on your computer? Ooh, that I don't we'll get know. it. We'll get it done together. Okay. And if I see your Mac is a little bit slow or it's, um, in, Things are not configured properly. We might have to do a, like a brew install. Or do you have homebrew? No. Homebrew? Okay, I'll get that installed on your computer. It'll help you with your installations and keep all your things in one place. And okay, you know, it's like a package installer. Like it'll, it you know, when you download stuff and install stuff online, you might install it some on your desktop or your documents. You know, mm -hmm. but brew will keep everything in one folder in one place, so it's easy to remove. It's even. All right, we we are really out of time. We have less. Okay. We have a couple <laughs> seconds. Coding supplies. Bye.